Welcome, Welcome back, back to Beast Wars, Wars Wednesday. Wednesday. I'm your host, Predacon Paul. I'm your host, Decepticon Doug. Yeah, hey, welcome back, Paul. It's been forever. How long would you say it has been? Uh, actually, over a year since we've done a Beast Wars Wednesday. It's cool to be back for Beast Wars Wednesday. Um, after all, there's still aspects of the world of Beast Wars that we have not yet explored. Just moved into a new place. Jamie and I uh, bought our own place. There's been a lot of moving. Because remember, I moved, and then he moved. It was like he was copying me. I know. I was like, hey, if Doug's doing it, I want to do it too, because I want to be in the cool club. <laughs> Little did you know, I was never in the cool club. I found that out afterwards. But yeah, so we're finally settled into our place. Uh, the new studio is looking great. It looks basically exactly the same as it did last time. <laughs> yeah, we'll tweak it a bit. But it's good. It looks good. It looks good. It's a bit smaller than the last one was. Yeah, so you know, so if it looks like we're really pressed together in the next in the upcoming episodes. Welcome back to Beast Wars Wednesday. That's what's going on. Yeah, we'll call it the intimate edition. But before we you know jump off into the next chapter of the ongoing saga of the Moving Pictures Channel and our reviewing of computer generated transforming shows. Yeah. Okay. So this is how it started. <laughs> yeah. So a buddy of mine who I used to work with uh, years ago just shoots me a message and he's like, Paul, and his name's Jacob, by the way. Jacob, thank you very much. Hey, thanks, Jacob. He's like, Paul, you're gonna love this. And then tags me on this Facebook post where this person in Coquitlams, he's all like, hey, yeah, Beast Wars toys for sale. And there was like a bunch of different prices for different toys, whatever. Yeah. And so I was like, Decepticon Doug, you need to have a look at this list and tell me which ones we need to make our collection complete. Mm-hmm. Then Doug took over and he was like, I got this. <laughs> it was what I was call an ambitious undertaking and, and also an expensive one. That's when I knew, damn, I <laughs> spent too much on toys. But my younger self, very grateful. Yes. Very grateful. And my older <laughs> self, very grateful. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I looked at it and there was a lot of a lot of stuff I didn't have. We pooled some money together and we sort of went in on a bunch of Beast Wars toys and bought it from the seller. And truthfully, for a great price. For, for what we got compared to what they're going for like individually. So basically this is sort of, we were unboxing things, but also showing off the things that we got. This doesn't mean we have a complete collection. So let's start with, didn't we already do a reveal for this one? We revealed it, but we didn't do, I don't feel it's like an official reveal. Right, let's make this like the, the- The toy tour reveal? The toy tour reveal. So Doug, after hearing my plight, um, my traumatized childhood when, um, a friend of mine, back when I was younger... Friend. Friend. I don't know <laughs> yeah. if I could call him that anymore. Uh, decided, uh, hey, we should totally trade toys for a weekend. And I was like, okay, sure. And I reluctantly was like, okay, you can play with my Dragon Megatron. And I, like, I can't even remember anymore what I what I borrowed. Um, and then when I got it back, he didn't know what he was doing. And then the wing here was broken. So this whole piece was just like hanging off. And so... The only way it would stay up, I think, is when the wings were retracted, so so he couldn't do this anymore. Lame. Which was like, ugh. So I got a dragon Megatron. Until the dragon! Oh. So yeah, there's that. And they're going to be another centerpiece on our Beast Machines Monday set. Here come Paul! <gasps> Your favorite! My favorite! Now be very careful. Because this guy um, has... Snap. Uh oh <laughs> No, no, I mean, you're joking, but apparently this this guy, this particular figure is very fragile because of uh, a certain plastic that they used. Um, oh, it's the the metallic plastic, right? Yeah, the gold, the gold something plastic. So if I try to transform him, I want to try to make sure I don't do it more than once. <laughs> so be very careful. I'll, I'll hopefully be able to show the transformation sequence in editing and I'm just gonna handle with care. So as you can see mm. clearly, um, this is not to scale because Megatron would be way bigger. But this probably is. I got more hours out of playing with this toy than any of my other Transformers. Here we go. <gasps> Depth charge, maximize. Now turn him into a Manta. <laughs> uh, okay, so here's depth charge. This was one I used to have, or rather, uh, more accurately, my younger brother had it. And he decided to give it away. What a um, and now I have a depth charge all on my own. Now, he's not 100% complete. There were a few <clears throat> things that were missing. Um, he's missing his pizzas. He used to eat, uh, uh, some pizzas. 
And this, this right. Um, the tail, uh, the tail is also yeah. That would shoot the missiles. The tail is also missing. What about this gun? Um, the gun is in here somewhere, I believe. Uh, it is incomplete, but it is. It actually still looks pretty good. So it, it's it's good enough. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to find some more pieces down the road. How do I make him stand? He oh, he was always notoriously difficult to stand up. You want to know why? He skips leg day. Yeah, and he totally does. What you gotta do is, if I recall, you just gotta bend his legs enough so that he can just <laughs> coast on his back. You know this guy? Yes. This is Transkeeto. He was in one of the commercials. He was actually in the commercial with Baboom. Oh. He is a triple changer. Um, he turns into a mosquito. Unfortunately, he is missing a missile, which he shoots from his front here, but also functions as the stinger for the mosquito. So it's not perfect. But it's uh, but his robot mode looks fine. But the beast mode does look a little incomplete. It does look kind of cool. Yeah, I know he's a cool figure. Now I'll say that most of these, I had a friend who had all of these. Um, <laughs> he was, you know, I've made mention made mention of him on Beast Wars Wednesday before. But you know, you, you know, the, the friend you have who has a uh, who has way more money than you. Yeah, some of these I'm very I'm fairly familiar with. But this guy I am not. This is Bone Crusher. Oh. He turns into a bison. I'm pretty impressed with this robot mode. I think it looks cool, except for the fact that he's it's, it's bulging out the back, but beyond that, from the front, I think he looks pretty cool. He does look pretty cool. I feel like him and Tigertron will get along. Yeah, they'd have a lot to talk about, being large mammals. You know, what's interesting is Bone Crusher actually sounds like a G1 Transformer name. Actually, there is a G1 Transformer named Bone Crusher. He's one of the Constructicons. Oh, that's probably why it sounds like a G1 Transformer name. Yep, it checks out. This is, um... Really cool looking. Uh, it's a transmetal one. What's his name? Scavenger. There's a guy. The good part about the transmetal ones is they have their name on them. Scavenger, apart from his lack of hands, he only has drills. He turns into an ant. And my understanding of this guy, I don't know if this is 100% true, but I've heard that originally it was going to be Transmetal Inferno. And for some reason they did not go with that. Maybe because, if I had to guess, maybe because they didn't Transmetalify Inferno in the show. They decided not to. He was um, still a force to be reckoned with while he wasn't a transmetal fight. To be fair, he kind of looks like a Digimon. Digimon, gonna catch them all. No. <laughs> oh, him. Yeah, Paul's favorite character. Transmetal Tarantulas. There we go. Dave, shut up. Well, he, he at least met a nice violent end. Just the, the, way, the way he always wanted. He's also unfortunately missing his gun, but that's okay. I can't live with it. Which means, uh, which also I think functions as his front wheel thing when he turns into his vehicle mode, but we don't like his vehicle mode anyway, so. His vehicle mode is so stupid. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'm a motorbike thing. <laughs> Good for you. So this is Buzzsaw. Uh, basically, say, uh, same mold, repaint, kind of as Waspinator. <laughs> now this is one that I showed off in the last episode. Yeah, my copy of Buzzsaw was just demolished. Oh yeah. And, uh, he was the one that was a piece, because he was the first one we ever had, and, and, and also like he was, my younger brother, so he was like played by a lot with a, like by a little kid. So um, this one is actually pretty darn good, pretty functional. I think he's missing a few missiles, but I could even. But that's not a big deal. He's he's way better in way better condition than the other one I had. So there we go. I have a replacement bus saw. Similarly, baboom, baboom. I got another baboom. Uh, oh, from the Beast Wars uh, comics. My my baboom had a broken torso. Now I'm. I'm this torso is undone, and I'm a little afraid of putting it, like pushing it too hard. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just gonna let him stand here, and uh, and just you know what, just just chill. Although all know though my boo boom actually has all more of his pieces and his missiles and stuff like that. So uh, I might just do some swapping of pieces. Mm. You may, you know, make it make it some for Frankenstein's boo boom. Part of your other boo boom to make a real. Basically. <laughs> hey, it's the original rat trap. Hey. Eh. He's a little guy. He's a real little one. Hey, one of those really banana. simple, like, change him. <laughs> Trans like transform in one motion. Looks like he pooped. <laughs> yeah, it just dropped. But yeah, yeah. Okay, apparently this is. He's a little bit fragile. His arm just came off. And. Well, I'm, but at least he has his arm. I'm glad it didn't fall off and, like, disappear. So that's good. And I think he actually has his gun in here somewhere. I'll have to dig it out, but I think he actually has his gun. So that's cool. Man, it looks so basic. <laughs> it really, really does. Yeah, I'm a basic bitch. Yeah. 
And uh, this is one I've I've always wanted. Batman. Batman. Mm. Mm. As you can see, he is vengeance. Yes, he is the knight. Yeah. So uh, this is the uh, bat Optimus Primal, um, which I always uh, felt kind of uh, was an odd choice for like the leader. But this is the one that was packed in with the crocodile Megatron. See, Crocodile Megatron makes sense. But yeah, but bat. I know. It's kind of weird. But I like the design, so like, if I always felt that if I got the toy this as a kid, I would just name him something else and pretend he was a different character. Because all in all, like, he looks cool, but he doesn't look like an Optimus Primal to me. No. <laughs> you know? It's... Primal has the interceptors and the, the, the shotgun things that come out of his... He's basically like the Doom Slayer. You know how he's got the super shotgun, but he's got one attached to both arms. And, Take that, Doom Slayer. And there's something about the gorilla, you know, like it's it's a it's a large, noble, intelligent Very wise, yeah. beast. I don't get it, but yeah, but well, that's, that's probably why you know it didn't it didn't take too long before they released the well the T Rex and the gorilla. There's also something about a gorilla where, in the right conditions, a gorilla can be incredibly gentle. Yeah. And they, there's almost a very thoughtful nature to them. And then, if need be, they're these powerful beasts that can, like, bench press a car if they want to. Like. It's a restrained power. Yeah. Razor Beast, um, which you may remember from the comics. He yes. was, like, the lead, the, the, the lead he, guy in the comics. Oh, he was the lead guy. I thought it was the monkey man. He's the one who uh, took on the virus thing and went crazy and then killed all the uh, Predacons, right? Or, or something like that. So it did. That, those comics did, did kind of give me a new appreciation for Razor Beast because I was thought like, yeah, Warthog. I don't know if I need oh, that. Like, one, at the end though, when he like passes away, he's just in his beast mode and he just like goes to sleep or whatever. Yeah. Oh, got me right yeah, in the feels. Yeah, got the tug in the heartstrings. The toy's pretty good. It's actually nice and sturdy for a little guy. A lot sturdier than the Rat Trap. It'd be nice if they actually turned him into like a legacy version or whatever it's called. Or like the masterpieces. The masterpiece, yeah. Yeah, um... I keep saying Legacy because the Power Rangers toys... Well, also, there are there are a lot of Transformer Legacy toys as well. Okay. But they're, they are not as as intricate as the Masterpieces. Nothing beats the Masterpieces. This is Snapper. I think that's what the other's name was. And a Beetleborg. Big Bad Beetleborgs. I hated that show. Oh, me too. <laughs> that one and VR Troopers. VR Troopers, I wanted to like. I tried to. But I just, just couldn't do it. So Snapper is a snapping turtle. He's a tough little guy. I don't have much to say about him. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's tough. I like that his 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 head pops out. It doesn't like fold in. It just it just kind of sucks up his butt. Um, this is Insecticon. He is a a bug. Doing he is a beat aboard. Pretty much. I got. I can actually. I kind of like his transformation because he he has his mandibles and they kind of like. The way they fold down, uh, they don't really go down, they, they, they go up. And anyways, he's cool. He's named after the Insecticons, like in the G1 Transformers. Actually, much like how Dinobot was named after the Dinobots. He kind of looks like uh, one of the drones from Halo. Yeah. Doug's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I don't, but, but I the, believe you. Know. The Yanmei. Yanmei. I actually always wanted Insecticon, I thought it looked cool, and even though he's one of those very basic Transformers, I always I always wanted him, I thought he was just a good design, and I still agree with that. Ooh. Oh, he's huge. This... Oh, that's what she said. Ayo! This is, uh, Tripredicus. Wait, wait, wait. The Tripredicus? That's right, Paul. The... Like, the Tripredicus Council? Yeah, well that was one of the cool dudes. things. When I, I remember when I saw, the, when I saw that episode for the first time, The Agenda, and they came up to say Tripredicus Council Mountain Session. I'm like, Tripredicus, like the combiner guy from the... So this is three three Predacons in one. Holy cow. Uh, constructed into... So yeah, basically there's, there's three Transformers in here. And they make one big boy. Can you break them apart? They... I need to learn how. Okay. <laughs> so I will need to look at structures because I know that these are... At least are, he's assembled. <laughs> they are... Yeah, he came assembled, so I'm, I'm, I'm afraid to... I know, yeah, I'll have to look up how to do it. I know that the, my complaint with these guys were that the toys were always cooler combined. The individual toys weren't like... Like Captain Planet? They weren't really awesome. Like Captain Planet? Oh yeah, just like Captain Planet. Only without the heart, because he's, he's a Predacon. So he's hey, even Predacons have heart. It's true. It's just black and full of hate. Uh, some more than others. And similarly, oh wow, this guy's a little bit... No. 
that time. <clears throat> this guy's a little bit precarious. Uh, oh boy. Oh no. Oh. Fuck. Is that an eagle? Yeah, actually, the eagle's name is actually Silverbolt. There was a there was a Silverbolt toy before the Silverbolt that we all know and love. Um, but of course, there was also a Silverbolt G1 toy as well. So what's interesting about uh, Bird Dog is he's got eagle wings and eagle talons. Yes, it's true. He's half eagle. His mother was an eagle, and his daddy was a bad dog. <laughs> so this is Magnaboss. He's cool. He's a big boy. He's, he's a little bit hard to keep together, but he's uh, but he looks cool. Uh, it's just yeah, a little hard to keep together. But we're working. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna. He's a friggin' elephant. He's an elephant, a lion, and an eagle. Yeah. But this guy is like a crayfish, some kind of rhinoceros beetle thing, and uh, some other kind of thing. <laughs> you know, when I gave the money, it felt like a lot more. <laughs> but don't worry, we're not quite done yet. But uh, <laughs> but I'm like, oh, I should be getting so many, but now all of a sudden it's like, oh, we're almost done. But, but we're not so almost done. I am transformed. So you know, this is kind of a bit of a segue into the Beast Machines side of things. Because he didn't just have Beast Force toys, he had Beast Machines toys. And here's Cheetor. And he's got a sword. And his legs, long enough, maybe, maybe not. He's skipped, he, he's skinny, long and skinny. He's just he's always putting the stretcher. He doesn't work them out though. These ones are so hard to stand up. I mean, how do you stand this guy up, really? And this is like one of the uh, the toys that they kind of like really made their like poster boy for the Beast Machines toys. Just have, you know what? Just have a seat. Just sit down. Just uh, just sit down and think about what you did. <laughs> <laughs> That's good enough. Um, and here's Rat Trap. Ah. He's they go in a different direction, and so this guy's really long and skinny. This guy, he's he's he he also skips leg day, and then he doesn't have legs. He got well, he he, he has wheels that can kind of turn into legs, I guess. Okay. Um, I hate it already. It's kind of hideous, hey? Yeah. Like this is just a really ugly looking figure, and then again, like the Beast Machines characters were kind of ugly. He kind of looks like you know those little drone things in Turok 2 when you're on the Primogen's light ship. Turok, help! I, I can't say that I really care for the design. Oh, but if you move his thing, he opens his little mouth. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> and I think his, his tail's in here somewhere too. So he does have his tail. Um, just lay down there. Just, just, just. I also got a replacement uh, Optimus Primal for for Beast Machines. Uh, although he doesn't have his little weapon thing, he at least has his full head. And his beast mode head. Okay. Because I was, yeah, the other one was kind of broken, so. There you go. He looks kind of cool. He is kind of cool. He doesn't really look like, he doesn't look anything like the guy on the show. No, not no. even in the slightest. <laughs> but <laughs> there was a big deluxe version, like a really big one that looks just like the one on the show. Okay. But, uh. This not, looks like a yeah. reskin of Optimus, Optimus Primal from the first season. Without the pointy ears. Yeah. One of the things that makes Optimus Primal Optimus Primal is the face mask and the head thing yeah I think so like the design was very similar to that of Optimus Prime yeah you can see that they're you know related somehow or or just modeled after I don't know how Transformers can be related but why know. was he named Primal like did they just know like one day like one day he could be, be a gorilla, gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> good question he's always asking the tough questions this is also from Beast Machines this is Silverbolt um <laughs> yeah would you believe <laughs> Would you believe this is Silverbolt? This... <laughs> Have you seen Tur uh, Robocop 2? Introducing Robocop 2. Takes the helmet off. What is odd about this toy? Look at his face. Yeah, no, it's really weird. He had this whole samurai thing going on. Hardly resembles the Silverbolt in the show at all. The colors are completely off. And they're all, they all just seem wrong. And the whole, just everything looks weird about him. And his his wings are completely separate. They're used as a weapon, but like, how's that how does that work as a weapon? I don't understand. They're just wings with a sword on. Like it's just it's just the wings like almost they are like longer than the sword, and so yeah. But here's the thing: you can like push this button, and then they go. Yeah, but it's still kind of awkward, isn't it? I mean, I got it because I wanted to have it for the backdrop for Beast Machines Monday, but like if I had this toy as a kid. Or someone got me like, hey, I got you the silver bolt, Beast Machine silver bolt, uh, and, and and that's what I got. <laughs> I would have been like, really? This is this is the toy? I would have been appreciative to the person who got it for me, 
But in my heart, I would have been like, this sucks. Yeah, I, don't, I just don't, I don't like this And one. look at the grimace on his face. He's like, I'm not to be messed with. Look at me bare my face. Urgh. Oh yeah, uh, oh yeah, he's got a uh, half, just half his face is like, Urgh. He's got the little top knot. One thing I did like about the Beast Machines line was actually the Viacons. I thought the Viacons were kind of rad. Even though they're, this isn't very Beast related, it's still, it's still relevant, it's all Beast Machines. Um, this is Thrust. He was one of the Viacons in the show, one of the main guys, one of the main villains. Is he one of the robot, a uh, robot, uh, motorbike things that always explodes? He was like the leader of the motorbike things that always explodes. Yeah. Okay. They were each one of them had like a, a chief. Like there's the jets, the, the tanks, tanks, and yeah. the and the motorcycles. Yeah, he was the the leader of the motorcycles. I do not have tank war. The the tank one. Good luck finding it. Um. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I know. Eventually, one day. So yeah, this is actually one I did not get in the in the package. This is one that we had before, and I, I've managed to find all the pieces, or at least this, this, the main pieces, for our set. And he's not standing on his own two. He doesn't want to stand up. He says, "You know what? Don't drink and drive." His legs do look kind of cool. They got these little piston things. Mm -hmm. Similarly, this is Jet Storm, the leader of the those. Uh, jets. He looks cool. He is cool. Yeah. No, this. In fact, he looks cooler here than he does in the show. They, I feel like they did this figure a disservice. Um, because he's, he's pretty rad. Even like um, the shoulder things, then the flares out of the face, the head. And he is one of the cooler characters in the show as well. So to all in all, like this is one of the, I think this is one of the better, the best Beast Machines figures. I think he's, he's really rad. He looks D1 too. He looks timeless. Yeah. Like he could be from any of the shows. Except for Beast Wars. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> yeah, you can be any of the shows except that, except our favorite one. The downside about, I find all these, uh, a lot of these Beast Machines toys is they don't know how to stand up. Is he a helicopter? This is later in the series, but... Yeah, he's a, a VTOL helicopter thing. Uh, Obsidian, I believe. <gasps> he's Cardassian? Well, the colors match. Is Obsidian a Cardassian thing? The Obsidian Order? To make the oh, oh look like yeah, 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 those guys. Obsidian, uh, cool character in the show. I was kind of disappointed that the toy was as small as it is. I was, I think this would have made a really awesome, like full deluxe size figure or even bigger. Um, so uh, him being like sort of this this tiny one, I think is a, is disappointing, but. You know what you should do? You should uh, design a transformer that will actually transform. Mm -hmm. Kind of like this dude here, but make each piece individually by 3D printing it. Well, that sounds it. awesome. If I had any idea how to do any of that, I, uh, it's a little out of my, uh, little out of my wheelhouse. And this guy, okay, I think I remember why I didn't transform him because I can't remember how. <laughs> uh, so that's just how he's gonna look right now. Same with this. I don't know how to do anything. So the trick with any Transformers toys, um, transforming them, as a lot of you probably know if you're watching this, from the more simplistic ones to the more complex, uh, is if you can't seem to get it to move. Uh, push a little harder. <laughs> That's how it works, right? The, uh, the alternative is also just smash it on the table and put the pieces all back together and see what happens. Blast Charge. That's this guy's name. Blast Charge. And he wasn't in the show at all. So he's just he's just an extra toy who was, you know, just in the toy line. Uh, I thought he was cool. And again, he's also kind of timeless in that he can kind of fit in any old, any Transformers, really. That is it's all of them. All of them. You know what's so funny is that I used to be so good at figuring these things out. Like I, I would always, whenever I got a transformer, I would try and figure it out first before I even looked at the instructions. I did the same thing. And now I got scared though sometimes. Well, that's the thing is, if I got stumped, I would look. But now here I am fiddling with this guy. I'm like, I don't know how to work, how to work this thing. I feel like I could have been easily outsmarted by my younger self. Like, I feel the same way too, especially when I'm playing video games. I'm like, how do you play that? I got him. Perfect. That's exactly how it's supposed to be. Wow, you do have an act for these things. It looks like transmutation. <laughs> so this is uh, one of the, the more recent uh, purchases. This is um, Covert Agent Ravage or uh, Black Agent. Now, I have to confess that this is a third party figure, therefore it is not official. So that's why he's called Black Agent rather than Covert Agent Ravage. Uh, because they didn't have the copyright to use the name and... But the likeness um, was okay? <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, it was sold through a Transformers site, so... I got this because I had never seen a toy like this. You I was like, well, I, I don't know if they're gonna have a show accurate Ravage like this. There's, there's just tons of Ravages out there, but they're always like, you know, the G1 Ravage, right? I was, wasn't sure if there was a, gonna be anything released like this, and then... 
Suddenly in this new Transformers line, the War for Cybertron and all that, there is one. So I jumped the gun, I got a third party when I probably would have wanted to go for a proper one, but you know what? This one looks cool. He's actually a pretty good size. He's big, he's shiny, he's Russian. He looks pretty badass. These are cool. Yeah, it comes with some guns. Oh, hey. He's even got like die cast legs. Like, his, his legs are metal, feel that. He's actually really Whoa. sturdy. Yeah, I feel, give, give him a feel. Feel him up. Ooh. Ooh. He looks awesome. Yeah. He feels yeah. great too. Yeah, it's it actually, it's pretty sturdy, I gotta say. In the name of the Pax of Atonica, and in the Protocon Alliance. Alliance, you are under arrest. No! And that's exactly how the episode went. Exactly. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. They should have known how evil... The cones forever. <laughs> okay. yeah. They should have known how evil he was based on how much he was laughing. No, but no good guy... And he had a Russian accent. Ever, no good guy ever laughs that much. Unless they're laughing at the end of an episode because of something funny that happened like Rhinox farted. Anyway, Paul, thanks for taking this toy-filled journey with me. Hey, no, no, no worries. Hey, babe, okay, so... Get on that side there, and I want you to pull the tablecloth as hard and as fast as you can. Smash! <laughs> <laughs> well, now I guess we should uh, decorate our set. Let's do it. And get started on uh, on the next saga, which is Beast Machines Monday. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, <laughs> thank you for watching. <laughs> Hang on a second. He's got different hands. He does. He has different hands. He's got guns. He's, He's got uh, ones a little, that hold a little the tape. guns. He's got others that are more out. He's got two that can go like this.